story 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 time see you guys when you see this green on my face you already know you know now you, you already know what's going to happen i'm about to give you people a sweet juicy story i know that you like just you people like just here you come and be pretending like no you're not seeing it but you like just anyway guys in today's video i'm going to share with you my job hunting experience like i keep remembering stories almost every day and i'm like oh my god i have not shared this with you so when i thought about this one i was like oh i haven't shared this with you and i would like to share with you so that like we all know sometimes we learn from the stories you can share your experiences it just helps you feel better right so today i'm going to share a story of how some girls basically kicked me off an opportunity to have a job okay so if you like to see that just keep watching <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel my name is kenna and i am a cameroonian youtuber based in Douala, cameroon sharing my cameroonian experience with you so if you are looking for any information about cameroon you want to know more about cameroon how the cameroon people are how we live what our life is like and all that this is the channel for you you want to click on that subscribe button because you're definitely going to find your answer here the main thing you can do is just click on the playlist that says everything cameroon go there you're going to see a lot of videos about cameroon if you also would just like to see Cameroonian lifestyle or you might go to restaurant reviews or go to my life as I live it vlog there you're going to see basically life in Cameroon how we live in Cameroon in different parts of Cameroon like Boya, Limbe, Duala, Bamenda and all that that said guys let's go straight into today's video like I said today we're going to talk about that time that a huge job opportunity just cleared off my hands just like that will I say it was because of jealousy I don't know you people watch and tell me what you think at the end of this video this was when i had just had monique monique was like five months and it was in that period where i was like you know what i have had kaden i've had monique i've already had one boy one girl this is time for me to start hustling for a job i need a job i had asked my husband to fix my cv he fixed my cv for me printed a couple of cvs and was like okay okay you can start going and dropping because that's how i started to guys when i started looking for work i was doing you know that started that i used to go office by office to drop yes i would do online but i was dropping i was going to offices tell them i'm looking for work i dropped my cv blah 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 so i woke up on that day all the cvs my husband had given me and i said i was going to go and start in aqua from aqua go to bonanjo just walk around and look for jobs because at that time i'm like I cannot continue staying like this. I don't have any business. I don't have anything. So I woke up that day, dressed up properly, took a taxi and went to town. I got to one point, took a taxi from one point and we were going. I think I was going to Bonanjo first. So when I got in the taxi, well, around Aqua, there's this young lady that got in. She was that she was breaking i don't know it's either she was not breaking the tax right but she made a mistake so the driver carried her and the driver was trying to correct her and she was she spoke in english she was like i don't understand what you're saying i don't i don't even understand what you're explaining to me so i was like no it's okay my dear this is what he means this is what he means he's like this part that you're standing you're not supposed to stand here or something like that so she was like oh thank you thank you my, my thank you my dear are you an anglophone i was like yes i'm an anglophone we just got we just started talking in the car right so she was telling me she just came she had been in bamenda she was working somewhere in bamenda and she finally had a job a good job in Douala. they are paying her very well but like she has been in Douala for i think three months and she's looking for a house so they have they came to show her some houses in aqua and bonaprizo so she was asking me about the neighborhood like what do i think about aqua i was just telling her i'm like my dear i don't think aqua is nice for you if you say you because she told me i think she told me her the amount of money she was ready to pay for rent was like hundred thousand for a studio or so so i was like no if you have hundred thousand for a studio i feel like you can get something in bonaprizo so bonaprizo is better and it's not far from bonanjo so it'll be easy for you i was just talking with this girl we we're speaking and then she saw me now with the file and she's like why oh that's nice why are you going to i explained to her mama i've given birth to and since i gave birth um, since i got married i haven't had a job so here i am i'm going to go and look for a job and she was like really what did you study i said communication she was like oh my god you're so lucky in our office we are hiring a communication officer all you need to do is just take your cv and go to my office i asked her where's your office she said there's this company it's a touristic company it's a traveling company traveling how they call this these companies that they do travels and all that it's called um sat guru it's in bonanjo so that's where she was working she was like she's one of the managers there blah 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 so they're looking for a communication manager i should go now and drop my documents she's going to try to push it i've been so nice to her like she just asked me more about my communication 
transportation experience and all that inside the car as we're driving and going yeah she asked me i told her she was like okay she is not going to the office since she's going to see her second apartment that they want to show her i should go to her office drop the document and then she will now come later and she'll see my documents that if she comes i've already gone no problem she's going to the arrange an interview they're going to call me patati patata patata patati so the car goes drops her halfway i continue see guys immediately as we finish from there i left straight to the sad guru office i left and i went to sad guru i reached as i reached there i came out i was with my friend no i met my friend there my friend and i were dropping we were supposed to go and drop documents in bonanjo so she was waiting i just thought to wait for me at sad guru so she was waiting for me around there as i just reached hope we went entered inside the office beautiful office like when you enter it's like this office is like this airline offices it's like it's something like that because when you enter there are like three seats of people there to receive you there were three seats of women sitting there so i came in my friend was like she's going to stand outside i can go inside and do whatever thing i have to do so i got in and i'm like hello good morning my name is kenna i hear that public affairs communications officer these are my documents i've come to drop them all the three ladies look at each other and they look at me and they're like well, sorry, madam, we're not hiring. I'm like, but I just saw somebody who works here who told me that they're hiring and all of them are like, no, um, are they hiring anybody here? Are they hiring anybody here? Oh, no, sorry, madam. It's a mistake. I'm like, you're new, this and this manager. She told me that you people are hiring. They were like, no. We know the woman you're talking about, but they're not hiring here. Maybe she must have made a mistake. We're not looking for any communication, anybody. I'm sorry. <sighs> And she had told me that if the, the girls at the reception refused to receive me, I should say I want to see their manager because the manager is a white, this is an Indian, I think, or a Lebanese. She was like, I should say I want to see the manager. So I'm like, okay, no problem. If you cannot receive me, it's okay. Can I see your manager? Well, sorry, our manager has gone out. <sighs> I'm like, okay, so can I sit away for her? No, madam, people don't come here and sit like that. It's either you're coming here to book for tickets, to travel for us, to help you to travel, or you do what you have to do and go. I was like, can I even drop my document? They were like, no, madam, sorry, we're not looking for any job. <laughs> Guys, tell me if that's not witchcraft. <laughs> I was like something i went outside i spoke to my friend i'm like this is what well, this is what has happened she was like okay let's sit down with guys we sat there waited for over an hour the lady did not come the mistake i had made was that i did not take her number since we we're talking too much in a hurry i did not take her number so unfortunately for me i could not call her that is how guys i just did not have the job when i went home that night i could not sleep i was like ha ah really like really i was like what was it about me was it that they just saw me and they were like we are the ones who choose people we are going to work with this one does not feel like she's going to vibe with us she doesn't match our vibe so no we're not going to work with her see guys the thing made me feel so bad i thought of going back there again but just the way the girls had behaved i was something in my head was just that you know what kenna no even bother going there just just let it go that's how it the thing just ended i felt so bad because i'm like why are we like this you already have your job why would you be telling somebody that they are not looking for work when your boss has met me and told me clearly that they are hiring a communication officer? Maybe it's because I was speaking English because that girl was an Anglophone. The rest of the girls were French speaking. I was like, is it a language thing? Is it because I'm Anglophone and they don't want that an Anglophone should be hired? Like, I did not get it. I did not just get it. So guys, that is what happens. Like, the thing made me feel so bad. I was like, die. <laughs> This life here, when you are puzzled for job. So when some people sit some in places and they're like, oh, they can never even find work. If they enjoy showman camp, if they just shit off your house, I'm just like, you people don't know the experiences some people have gone through. When you see somebody sitting in their house and starts puzzling, looking for a job, you cannot understand till the person starts telling you all the things they have gone to in the name of looking for a job in this economy, in this country. It's not easy. When you see somebody say, I have been dropping documents, I don't tire, understand that thing. That person don't tire us because I just got to a point and I was like, you know what? If I don't have any godfathers, if I don't have anybody to tell me, go and meet this person in this office, the person will give you a job. I'm not looking for jobs again because you would drop documents, drop documents, drop documents. Not a single person is going to call you. That's why after that, I just came back home. I just sat, I started thinking of different ways to make money because when I saw that, I was like, it is cold out there. It is really, really cold. So, yes, guys, this is my story. What do you think? Do you think it was jealousy? Do you think it was a language thing? What do you think it was? Because I don't even think it's a language thing because even when I noticed that they were responding to me in French, I tried to speak in French, which means you cannot say that maybe there's no understand what I was saying and all that. My French is not that bad. Okay, it's not that bad. I speak French. So I'm just like, anyway, that was it. 
thank you guys very much for watching this video have you had any experience with things like this how did you handle it how was it let's talk more in the comment section you know how it goes um let me know what you think about this girl was i just being sensitive or you feel like there was more to it thank you guys very much for watching this video please do not forget to click up click on that subscribe button pretty pretty please thank you very much if you watch and reach this point you know you are my mvp i'm going to see you next time okay love you guys bye Mwah.